Uh, we have not had vision in this city for a long time. We can't have the Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation planning a hotel on Main Street and then having the city of Buffalo doing an RFP to plan a hotel next to Shanghai Reds. We need to make sure, because we are a small town, uh, that every project will have an impact on the future and they build on one another to have a synergy. We have a 1950s, 1960s urban plan in 2010 we're going into. That's not right. So when you're talking about bringing business in, uh, business wants predictability. The biggest thing that comes from smart code is predictability and building value in walkable communities. I just came from a business leader who moved his company to Indiana because the damn mayor wouldn't call him back. That's up, that upsets me because we just lost 200 jobs in the city of Buffalo. That upsets me when the mayor's department wouldn't call him back and now he's building a, a 300,000 square foot building in Indiana and the governor of Indiana and the congressman calls him back. When he can't get into the mayor's office because there's a guard out there, that gets me upset. And that's accessibility. And then we have our neighborhoods. People are dying in our neighborhoods. This is serious. But you know what? We got to get back to basics. And that's community policing. People want to see a police officer on the street. People want a little help from government. And you know what? If we do some of those things, if we get some of those things accomplished, if we bring government closer to those people, if we have quality of life centers where they can talk to a planner, they can talk to an inspector, they can talk to a police officer, then, and only then, we can start doing the visioning. And we're going to do the visioning. I have the plans and we're going to work with the people. But when you're talking about planning, I think we need a holistic plan to include the people and the neighborhoods. So instead of having a top down approach, we're going to have a bottom up approach. I think it's like going to the doctors uh, when you get a checkup. We need to get a checkup on our housing and that means doing an analysis and review of every single home in the city of Buffalo and mapping that and having the data and the information and then talking to experts to bring a person in who is going to be in charge of overseeing this housing crisis which is not only vacancy houses, it's public housing, it's, it's uh, vacant lots, as you said. And I think we gotta start somewhere. We gotta, we gotta acknowledge we have a problem. It's almost going to like a three-step program. I am acknowledging on behalf of the citizens, we have a housing problem in the city. Now, uh, I think when I talked about the quality of life centers and you talked about visioning, that's what I was talking about, of connecting City Hall with the neighborhoods, including uh, the residents in the planning process, moving the planners from out of City Hall and into the neighborhoods and working with the people. I think you're going to come up with a comprehensive visioning plan that the neighbors and that the residents are included in. But we have a blank canvas in my administration. I'm open to all new ideas. Uh, I'm not going to be bashful to reach out to other elected leaders. Uh, I met with the mayor of Milwaukee in 2006 uh, to talk about a lot of different things. I met people, I met people in the uh, daily administration back in 2006. I went to Toronto uh, to talk to leading experts on urban, new urbanism. I'm open to that. I think uh, we need a progressive mayor. We need someone who is open to these new ideas because we're stuck in the 70s. We have 1970s thinking in 2010. I think we need some new, fresh leadership. And I haven't been in politics for a long time. So I don't have that baggage of me saying, well, I, I've been supportive of this. We've got we to gotta stick on the same path. No, the same thing isn't working for us. And I'm willing, as you said, to look at new urban planners, to look at new ways to do things. But uh, when you talk about mapping and planning, it sounds very simplistic. But I think when you see the concentration of where the problems are, it's going to help then with the allocation of the funding. I know the taxpayers are saying to me, we're tired of the Albany-style politics. Uh, we're tired of that. We're embarrassed by it. We need some leadership. We're tired of an administration of a mayor who says, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. I, my underlings are doing things that are embarrassing me. And I always said this, and I've said this on the record, I don't blame the mayor for everything. But he should better believe that he's responsible as the chief executive officer of the city of Buffalo. If there's $160,000 missing, that's not going to happen in my administration because if there's any money that's missing, if it's a penny, they're going to be fired on the spot. On the spot. In the private sector, 
When you do something like that, uh, you know what that's called? We all know what that's called. Uh, that's called embezzlement, and you go to jail. You write a bad check, you go to jail. That's unacceptable. We got to get past all that garbage, all that nepotism and patronage, and let's get down to hiring the best local people to move this city.